But no, we become selfish nowadays. No, I have no feelings after 20, 30 years of marriage. No, no, I want to have fun. I want to be free. I want to do this. I want to do that. Wallah, you will never achieve that happiness if you do haram. Never, ever. And how many of, of us, so I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to offend anyone, but I'm, I'm saying this because I feel the issue and I feel for those fathers and for those mothers because our Prophet ﷺ, what did he say? Whoever denies the mother from her own child, he will go to hellfire. You know the, the bond between mother and her child? So when it comes to custody, majority of scholars have said that the mother should take the custody of her children until they reach the age of puberty. And then they must go to the father. Especially when it comes to providing for them, the father is responsible to provide for those kids regardless whether they're still married or not. Even if they're divorced, he still has to provide for them. Why? Because those kids belong to who? Those kids are his kids. And he will be asked in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those kids, my dear brothers and sisters. But we don't want for any couple to come to that stage so, so they have to go through that divorce. But if it happens, it happens. But please, if you know someone going through these kind of things, we have to try to reconcile them as much as we can. Wallahi lazi. When I deal with couples that have issues, you know the first question I ask, do you have children? Because if they don't have children, it's a lot easier. But when they have children, we have to try everything not to break that marriage for the sake of those children. There are many husbands, there are many wives that maybe they're not happy in their marriage and yet they stay in that marriage for the sake of their children. And I, I applaud people that do that, that do that sacrifice. Because we have come to this country to give our children a better life. Not for ourselves. Most of us, we work two jobs, three jobs, so that our children can have a better life, true or not. But if we go through divorce, and if they, you know, we feed them hatred towards one another, and if we lose them, what we have achieved at the end of the day? We have achieved nothing. So this is a very taboo topic. Not many Imams maybe even speak about this, but wallahi, I will continue to speak about this because it's a big issue in our community. And if you're able to reconcile any of those couples and you're the reason, wallahi, that is a big reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So please, if you decide to go through divorce, don't involve children in that messy divorce. Both of you should sit down and, and, and discuss the custody of those children, how many days you're gonna have, how many days she's gonna have, and have that, that agreement. You wanna live separate ways, that's okay. But always educate your children that, hey, that is still your father at the end of the day. And that is still your mother at the end of the day, regardless what she has done or he has done. And we have to teach them to respect the parents. And this is the key thing, my dear brothers and sisters. 